what's up you guys welcome back to my channel so today i just filmed the kylie and jordan collab and this is how the products look like they're super pretty i got the whole bundle so we're gonna have a lot of fun here we're gonna do swatches swatches on the lips and obviously see how they perform on my face so if you're interested in how i got this look with these products then please keep on watching all right you guys so let's get into the swatching so first off i'm gonna be swatching the kylie jordan eyeshadow palette i freaking love the packaging i love that they look like brad stalls they look amazing it's so cute i haven't swatched or anything because i wanted to save it for the video i was just like it looks so pretty i just opened it but this is how it looks when you take it out the carton and it does have the shavings back here this is how the palette looks like so the palette looks like this. For some reason, this color right here is just not showing up as vibrant as it looks in person. It's like a mint green. It's super bright and beautiful. And I really like the size of the mirror. It's super big. It's a really nice size. Like you can see your whole face and it looks really clear. It's not like a dingy mirror at all. I feel like these colors right here this purple and this like mint green is like standing out to me. I honestly don't know what I want to do today for today's look. I'm probably going to have to do like a two-part video for this palette because I want to play with it. So that's how the palette looks. And I'm just going to go ahead and do some swatches real quick. So I'm just going to do the first row first. So this is a few swatches right here. I just dimmed down my lights a little bit just because... They are bright, so it kind of washes out the color. First one is Wife Life. Second one is Loyal, True Love, Peru, Soulmate, and My Heart. So Wife Life in the pen looks a little more brown, and it comes off more orange on my skin. I don't know if it will come off different on my eye when I do the eyeshadow look. And this is like a brown with a hint of shimmer. It's not really metallic or anything. Alright guys, so these are the swatches for the bottom row. And these colors right here are a little bit more vibrant. They're more shimmers. Really pretty colors. So this first shade right here is called Don't Ever Leave Me. Sister. Ride or Die. Marry Me. Wild Love and Love You Bitch. I think this one is just wasn't picking up as much because it's more like a silver with a mint undertone. And then this one is, looks like a kind of like a dual chrome, like brown, purple, pink, gold flecks. It's very pretty. Next up, we have the Kylie and Jordan highlighter palette. It's kind of with the same packaging. They're drawn like a Bratz doll. So this is like a close up and this is just them with their whole outfit. Super cute. I freaking love this packaging. Like, wow. I want to look like this and the shades are in the back so the palette looks like this same as the eyeshadow palette and this is how it looks for some reason i thought the highlighters were going to be a little bigger like the size of the pan um but just because online they looked bigger i never purchased one of these before and they just looked bigger um i don't know the prices right off the bat i don't want to just throw out a number and get it wrong so i will be listing that down below but when i bought these products i got the bundle especially because um the highlighter wasn't sold separately so i don't know if they changed that now but if they did i will link the price down below the bundle in general wasn't expensive at all. I think it was a reasonable price. So, I mean, doing the math and all, I think it was priced okay because, for example, like one highlighter palette these days be like $30, $38 or something like that. So, and this we get four. And they're really pretty. I thought they were going to be a little too dark for me, but no. This is like a light gold shade rose gold bronze and this has like a purple hue to it super pretty so i'm gonna go ahead and swatch that for you guys so these are the highlighters swatched i will be honest they are not as vibrant as i expected them to be but like i said it is a swatch so we will just see how it performs on the face and i'm just gonna compare it to my amarese highlighter real quick that i love so this is the Amarese highlighter. You can just tell that it is more vibrant, 
more wet and these are just a little more chunky I feel because as I was swatching them they did feel like a little rough not as smooth and soft as the Amarese one but the colors are really pretty all right you guys let's play with makeup I love makeup so I'm super excited and I do have the lipsticks I'm gonna show you those I'm gonna show you those real quick so I have partner in crime 23 and woods partner in crime is a high gloss and it looks like this i will be swatching all the shades on my lips this is 23 and it is a high gloss and i know it's not going to come out like metallic or anything it's just like a sheen of gloss with like gold flecks in it and then this is woods and it is a lipstick and it's just a really pretty like deep pink cranberry kind of shade i'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of concealer on my lid though so I'm going to go in with White Fly first as my transition shade. I think I need a smaller brush. And I really love this mirror. It's just so big. I can see so much with this mirror. I love it how it's like almost, you know, connecting from side to side. So this transition shade does look a little more brown in the palette but it's coming off a little more pink i'm gonna go in with soulmate i'm gonna play with the purples today so i'm just starting off with a little bit i'm just using the same brush so i went in with wife life first and then soulmate so now i'm gonna go in with my heart and this is the m506 and i'm gonna be really precise oh my gosh this shade is so vibrant it's beautiful you guys like I'm not even joking like I don't even want to lie to you guys and try to hype it up because no this palette is gorgeous like you see how easy that went on like easy like god damn god damn I'm gonna be cute as fuck today so I'm kind of doing like kind of a halo eye kind of not really now I'm going to connect very lightly. Going back in with that brush that we used for the transition shade. Just to blend the outer edges. My stomach is about to scream. My stomach is literally about to scream, you guys. I mean, sometimes I feel like I'm not hungry, but my stomach be like, bitch, feed me. I'd be like, okay. I've got some like cuties. So now I'm just going to go in with Love You Bitch, which is the deeper purple plum shade. So I'm basically kind of keeping the center more bright. So now I'm going to go in with Wild Love, and I'm just going to use my finger and just stamp that right in the center. So now I'm going to go in with Marry Me in the inner corner. Like, oh my gosh, this is beautiful. This is bright. But I just want to wet it just to see. Just to see what will happen. And I think it looks pretty much the same, so... So it's bright enough not to be wet or anything. Alright guys, so I'm done with the eyes. I love the shadows, love the purples, and the shimmers. Super pretty. I am going to play with it again, so stay tuned for that. And you know what, you guys? I just realized I freaking put highlighter on already. And I wanted to play with this one. So for the next video that I film, I am going to put this highlighter on. I won't forget. But I am going to go ahead and just put some, at least, on my cheeks. Um, so we can see how it looks. So I'm going to go in with no new friends and a little bit of best life just because it has a purple hue to it and that automatically gave it an extra an extra pop so i can say right off the bat that these are super blinding i'm gonna go ahead and put the liner and lashes and i'll be right back all right guys so i am back done with the lashes and liner and all that good stuff i feel like lashes literally complete look so i just used the lily lashes in the style mykonos so i'm gonna go ahead and start with the high gloss in the shade 23 and it's just a really pretty gold flex lip gloss it's not a lip gloss that feels like bothersome but you can feel that it is a thicker consistency but it's super comfortable it doesn't bother me at all and it's actually really pretty i feel like if you just put a really nice lip liner with it it will look so bomb but it just has really pretty gold flex to it 
super gorgeous especially for lip topper and for the next one i'm gonna go in with partner in crime also a high gloss it's a beautiful peachy nude so pretty and it's the same consistency as the other one it doesn't bother me at all and for the next lip it is a lipstick and it is the shade woods i'm not gonna go too far on the edges just because i do want to put the lip gloss and i don't want it to look weird this shade is actually very beautiful. I'm going to have to use this on the next look when we play around with the brown tone. I'm just going to put a little bit of lip liner. That is the finished look. I loved all the products. Yeah, I didn't really try the highlighter like by itself. But right off the bat, it really did make it pop. It is super bright, super blinding. You can tell. Like I said, I will do another look on this palette. You can get more ideas on why you would want to purchase it and what you could create with it i have no regrets buying this bundle at all i know i'm going to be dipping into this palette a lot this eyeshadow palette a lot for sure definitely going to use this lip gloss and love lip toppers and also that beautiful lipstick because it is like a fall shade i have no regrets buying this collection at all everything was beautiful everything blended beautiful um honestly it wasn't even expensive i also bought the desi and kitty products i did not buy the whole bundle because it was pricey and i do have stuff to pay for so i just don't want to spend that kind of money and be hella broke so i did buy a few things from there i think i just didn't buy like probably two lips and the darker highlighter just because i feel like that highlighter was gonna be dark for me and I'm not gonna waste my money on that if i'm not gonna use it so yeah that video will be coming soon so stay tuned for that overall i loved all the products and um if you're interested in getting something let me know what you're interested in getting let me know if you like this type of video i really love these type of videos when i see new collections coming out i look for these type of videos to see if i want to buy a product so that's why I filmed this. Let me know if you're really into it and you liked this one and how I did. Also, what other videos you'd like to see from me. That is it for this review and I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye!